All right, welcome to episode five from chapter seven. And in this episode, we're going to continue our study of the different organelles. And we're going to focus on four different things in this one. We're going to learn about ribosomes again. We're going to talk about the two types of ER, rough ER and smooth ER. And then we're going to talk about vesicles. So let's start off here with ribosomes. And really nothing new from this chapter. It's just a review from what we learned in chapter 13. So we got a picture here, so let's just start writing on it. All right, you want to remember that... Ribosomes are made up of RNA, specifically rRNA, and some proteins. And it's going to go through, or this is the place where translation occurs. Now, let's look down here at this picture. We've got a large subunit, we've got a small subunit, and we've got our P site and our A site. But this picture right in here pretty much is showing you what happens during translation. The ribosome is reading the mRNA. It's taking tRNAs who are carrying amino acids. And when the P site and the A site are fulfilled, there's gonna be a peptide bond right there. And you're gonna keep clicking and clicking and clicking down until you have your protein completed. Okay, so nothing new on this slide, exact same stuff that we've learned in chapter 13. So let's move on and learn about the ERs. Okay, endoplasmic reticulum, holy cow, look at all these letters. Uh, I'm not gonna write all those letters, that's ridiculous. So I'm just going to write ER for the most part because laziness is the foundation of, of efficiencies. This is the cell's internal membrane system. Basically what you want to think of, they're hallways. So like if we have a factory and we've got this part of the factory that makes um, some type of material, it's going to move out into some kind of hallway or roadway to be delivered to a different part of the factory to maybe have some more pieces added on it or whatever. Think of like you in a classroom. You start off in one room. The bell rings, you head out into the hallway to go to the next one. So the ER, think of it as a hallway or a highway system. Now the ER comes in two flavors. The first one is smooth. Why do we call this one smooth? It's because it doesn't have any ribosomes. So there's no bumps on this one. So here's a picture of, e, of smooth ER. No bumps, therefore it's smooth. Now what does it do? So maybe in your notes you want to write down this, functions. That's what these two guys are. There's one, there's two. It's going to make and transport lipids, specifically phospholipids. So any kind of membrane that's going to be made inside the cell has probably been made at the smooth ER. Now in some cells, it's going to contain enzymes that break down toxins. So think of like the liver in humans. Okay, basically the liver is a big kind of a filtering uh, organs. So anytime any kind of toxins, medications, etc., those are going to go to the liver through the bloodstream and those toxins are going to be broken down. So a liver cell is going to have tons and tons of smooth ER in it. All right, even though all cells have smooth ER in them too. Okay, rough ER is the second time. There's the second kind. And rough ER gets its name from the fact that it has ribosomes. So in this picture over here, you can see all these ribosomes studded upon it. It gives it a rough or bumpy texture. That's its job. Or I mean, that's the why it gets its name. All right, so over here, let's write down function again, because there's the one function of it. It's going to make and transport proteins. You've got all of these ribosomes in here making proteins, so the products are gonna go into these channels and they're gonna to move to where they need to do. So think of like your classroom as a ribosome, you're making proteins, and those proteins are gonna go out the door into the hallway and travel down to where they need to go next, okay? All right, the next thing is that we wanna go over is a structure called vesicles. Think of a vesicle as a box. So if you're smooth ER or you're rough ER, whatever you're making, you're gonna put that stuff in a shipping box and it's gonna go out to where it needs to go. So a vesicle is simply a membrane bubble that contains materials. But I do want you to point over here at this picture. And I'm gonna use a different color, let's use purple. This picture is basically showing you what is called the endo, remember endo means inside. This is the endo membrane system. I'm gonna get caught up here. Endomembrane system, membranes that are inside the cell. And what the endomembrane system shows you is it's a network. It's a network of ERs 
and the Golgi, which we'll talk about here in, a, in another screencast coming up. And what they do is that basically it makes and moves materials. So think of like all the things that a cell is going to make inside of it. Okay, proteins, lipids, etc. Uh, think of the endomembrane system as kind of like a distribution center for a major store, like a Walmart or Meyer or something like that. It's, it's kind of the hub where all the materials are getting moved about. So over here in this picture, we have rough ER. You can tell by the ribosome stuck on it. And here's the smooth ER. And their materials are being packaged into transport vesicles, which are basically a shipping box. And this box is going to go to something we're going to learn about on the next screencast called the Golgi. The Golgi is going to make some modifications, and then it's going to repackage it into another vesicle, and this vesicle is going to deliver it to the outside of this cell, in this case through a process of secretion. So the endomembrane system contains both kinds of ER and the Golgi body. All right, so I'm going to give you a hint. You're going to need to draw this a couple of different kinds and think of it as a potential essay question. Hint, hint, double, triple, hint. All right. We're going to end right there. So until the next episode, we'll catch you on the flip side.